Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Small Stuff Big Family. Today I have an all about me tag video. I got tagged from Tony from The McKinney Life. Thank you, Tony. She uploaded her video like weeks ago. I'm so behind on getting this filmed. I will leave Tony's video in the description box down below. Please be sure to go check her out, give her some love, tell her that I sent you. And I will also be tagging some people at the end of this video and they will be linked down um, in the description box below if they want to participate. No pressure whatsoever, but I will leave all their channels linked down below so you can check them out anyway, regardless of if they want to do the video. So on to the questions. The All About Me tag is a series of 40 questions. So there's a lot, but we're going to get through it pretty quickly because they're all like, some of them are like just yes or no questions. Very, very simple and easy. Let's get right on into it. Okay, question number one is, do you like blue cheese? I wouldn't say that I dislike it. It's not something that I like buy a whole lot of or that I ask. My husband does like 90% of the cooking if you're new here. <laughs> if you've been around, you already know that. But um, yeah, so it's not something that like he really buys and puts in dishes very often, but I would definitely eat it if it was there. Uh, so number two, favorite color. My favorite color is green. Question number three is, are you in a relationship? And yes, I am married. My husband's name is Mark. We have been uh, married for about a year and a half now. It'll be two years in September. Question number four is, how old are you? I'm 36. Question number five is, are you a good friend? I am the type of friend, and I guess hopefully my friends agree with me, <laughs> but I feel like I'm the type of friend that I'm, I'm always there, like I will, be there for anybody anytime that they need me. I'm not great at like reaching out to other people. I just kind of like live my life and go about my business. Um, and then, but like if a friend is needs me or wants to hang out, I make every effort to make sure that I do that. I'm just not a great like initiator. And I know that friendship is supposed to be a two way street. So I should probably get better at that. But, um, Yes, I am a good friend as far as like, I'm always there for my friends whenever they need me. Question number six is tattoos. Yes, I have four of them. I've got, let's see, I've got one on my shoulder here. That's a Coca Pelli. And then I have one on my wrist. We're gonna watch so you can't hardly see it. But it says, just breathe. This is for uh, my son that has cystic fibrosis. So it's got like, it says just breathe in cursive. And then it's got like a little medical um, like heart lines. Um, I guess I can stand up and show you the other one. I wear shorts under all my dresses, so nothing risque here. I've got a feather. Um, this used to be something else. We won't mention what it used to be, but let's just say that this is a cover-up tattoo, and I think that they did an excellent job. Um, that is number three. And then I have one on my foot. I'll just insert a clip of that later. So I've got one on my foot. It is a pair of flip flops and that was my very first one. And it's very, very faded. It could use some touching up, but I don't really worry about it. Piercings. I used to have my eyebrow pierced at one point in time. I used to have like several uh, earrings pierced. I used to have my belly button pierced. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of felt like I outgrew most of those things. And so now I just have like just the normal one hole in each ear, ear piercings. Let's see, nicknames. My stepdaughters call me Lola. Um, red, obviously with the red hair was a nickname that I've had before. Um, I don't know, I can't think of any other ones. But yeah, my stepdaughters call me Lola <laughs> because they had a hard time saying Laura whenever I first met them, they were pretty little. And so it just kind of stuck. So I'm Lola to my girls. Can I do a hundred push-ups? I, yeah, okay. I can do a hundred push-ups in a day. I just can't do a hundred push-ups like in a row. I think in a row, 20 is my max. I can do 20 push-ups in a row and then I'm pretty much like tapped out and I need a break. But if I would like do 20 and then take a break and do another 10, maybe do another 20, if, uh, take a break and then I could do a hundred push-ups. I'm pretty confident of that. Okay, the next question is, what is your favorite hobby? And for me right now, I would say that that's YouTube. I just really love like making videos, the filming and trying to get different angles and just be more creative with it. I think that that is probably my number one hobby right now. Um, 
I don't really do a lot else. I work full time, I take care of my family, I clean our house. Um, I like bargain shopping. Does that count as a hobby? I don't know. Those are my hobbies, I guess. <laughs> um, do you believe in ghosts? I think I do. I think it's a possibility. I mean, who am I to say absolutely no? I don't know for sure. I can't prove it. I don't think I've ever had any like personal experiences. Maybe a couple things that seemed a little bit weird and kind of odd, but I don't think I've ever had like an actual like ghost encounter experience, but I think it could happen. So, and I believe people that say that they do. So, yeah, I think it's, I think ghosts could be real. Do I wear glasses? Yes, yeah, sometimes I wear glasses. I always either have to wear contacts or glasses, one or the other, because I'm pretty much blind without it. <sighs> Question number 13 is phobias. Um, I've mentioned this before on my channel, but if you're new, I'm terrified of frogs. I also really have a fear of heights too. Like I won't go, I love roller coasters. I love fast rides. That like as long as it keeps going I'm okay on like those types of rides but any type of ride where I'm just like stuck and sitting like at the top of a ferris wheel or something like that no thanks <laughs> not for me I don't like like whenever there's a when we go hiking and there's like a cliff and like a you can look far down I will stay like so far back from the edge of the cliff because I'm just really scared of heights 14 is what is my biggest downfall I think it's part of like being a Capricorn and I don't know. I think, honestly, I think gifted kids, like I was gifted as a child. Um, and so that's not to brag at all. It's just like gifted doesn't necessarily mean you're like smarter than everybody else. It just means you think in different types of ways. And so um, I think that that's a downfall for me sometimes because I can be like really, really hard for on myself and like want to give up if I don't get it like instantly because I do tend to pick up things like very very easily and if I don't then I just want to be like eh, well it's not for me instead of like just trying again <laughs> like normal people and then I just kind of come off as like a know-it-all sometimes that's one of my personalities I just I think that can be one of my downfalls is coming off as like a know-it-all my favorite candy I would say is probably a Snickers bar I like M&M's Reese's peanut butter cups, pretty much any kind of chocolate, really. Um, favorite food? Sushi is definitely my favorite food. I have a lot of foods that I like, but I think sushi is my number one. Coke or Pepsi? I do not like Coke products except for Diet Dr. Pepper. I love Diet Dr. Pepper and I like Diet Pepsi. That's pretty much all I drink if I'm drinking soda. Let's see, rain or snow? I would prefer the snow. I don't know, in St. Louis, people can't drive whether it's rain or snow, it doesn't matter. I feel like if it's snow though, that probably means that I'm gonna be at home and my kids are gonna be off school, it's gonna be a snow day, um, just like a nice, chill, wintry day. Um, rain could be, I have to go somewhere and do something and it's just raining and it's inconvenient, so <laughs> I definitely prefer snow to rain, I think. Question number 19 is hot dog or cheeseburger? I would say a cheeseburger. Question number 20 is what do you drink in the morning? So the first thing that I actually drink, I keep a glass of water. Is it over there right now? Yep, it's over there right now. I don't know if you can see this little like blue dot right here behind me. Um, but that is my water cup that I always keep at my nightstand and I fill it up at night before I go to bed. So if I wake up in the middle of the night and I need to take a little sip, then I will. But for the most part, it's like almost completely full and I try to finish that full glass of water before I then will have my coffee for sure. But the first thing that I drink is always water. Um, I often forget to drink it the rest of the day. It may be like dinner time before I remember to stop and drink some more water. So I always at least try to start out my day on the right foot with a bunch of water. Question 22 is french fries or onion rings? Definitely onion rings. I like sweet potato fries, but like regular french fries, I'm not a huge fan of. 22 is kids. We have five total. I gave birth to three of them, and then I have two stepdaughters, and we are done with kids in this family. <laughs> That's enough. We love all of our kids, and we just feel very complete with that. Question number 23 is favorite season. So even though I said I like snow better than rain, my favorite season is actually summertime. I just love when the kids are off school. Our co-parenting schedule with the boys in the summer is like a week with them and then a week 
they're with their dad and I just really like that schedule I like being able to be with them for a full week of course I miss them for the week that they're gone but a week just feels like a really good chunk of time that we get to spend with them um, I just like that the days are longer you know you feel like you can get a lot more done in a day um, there's more time to like get outside and go exploring and we usually do like a family vacation in the summertime definitely summer is my favorite Question 24 is, can you sing? <laughs> no, not very well at all, but I love to karaoke. That's like one of my favorite things for my husband and I to do it at date night. We have like this little hole in the wall bar right here in town um, that we like to go to, and I love to karaoke there. Question number 25 is, can you whistle? <whistles> I mean, yeah, <laughs> I can whistle. <laughs> Question 26 is where were you born? I was born in Springfield, Missouri. I've lived in Missouri my whole life. If you saw my accent tag video, then you already knew that. Question 27 is do you have siblings? I do. I have one sister and she has my one little nephew and I love them very much. Question 28 is can you cook? If you follow me on Instagram and you saw my whole fiasco with baking the banana bread, that did not go so well. So, I mean, I'm definitely not I'm not a good cook, no. I can cook, like there are certain meals that I can cook and do, um, but I'm not the best at it. Question 29 is, can you swim? Yes, I can swim. I love to swim, love going in the ocean, lake, pool, whatever. I love being in water, so yes, I can swim. Question number 30 is, are you religious? I am a Christian, I believe in Jesus. We don't go to church like faithfully, religiously, <laughs> um, but you know, there's, Jesus is part of my life every single day, like in one way or another. I don't know if that's religious or not, but I am a Christian and I do believe in Jesus. Question 31 is shower or bath? I do both. I really lately have been enjoying like a nice hot bath, especially after I work out like I will work out and then cool down for a while and stretch and then once I'm like kind of cool then I will go and take like a nice warm bath um, but if I'm in a hurry I will definitely take a shower but I love I've been enjoying taking nice long baths it's like a me time I'll set up like my phone on like a YouTube video like a friend's YouTube video or a podcast or something like that that I want to listen to um, and then just enjoy a nice long bath Question 32 is, do you like a big city or nature? I love both. And if you have been around, <laughs> you know that I love hiking and exploring, but I also love, you know, parts of the city. Like you've seen me do both on this channel already in such a short amount of time. And you will continue to see more and more and more of that because that is probably like my favorite thing to do is to visit new places. Um, around us and then whenever we go on our vacations farther away so yes i love the big city i love a lot of different aspects of the city and i also love being out in nature like going for hikes and things like that question 33 is the easiest question in the world it is whiskey tequila or vodka and that is whiskey for me for sure that is pretty much the only thing i drink sometimes i'll drink a glass of wine my husband and i might get a bottle of wine every once in a while but my absolute go-to drink is jim beam and diet pepsi so that is my favorite if i'm gonna drink i don't drink often i'm making myself probably sound like an alcoholic right now but <laughs> i don't drink very often but whenever i do it's definitely got a little bit of whiskey in it Question 34 is, have you broken any bones? I have never broken a bone. Knock on wood. 35 is, how many TVs do you own? Um, let's see, we've got one in the living room, we've got one in our bedroom, one in my youngest daughter's room, and then the boys each have one in their room, so five. The girls are the only ones that don't have a TV, but they honestly like don't watch it. The boys will use their TVs as actually like video monitors and play video games with it. That's pretty much all they, they do. We don't have cable or anything like that. And my daughter, my youngest daughter, she has a small TV in her room, but she rarely uses it. I don't know. We're not really big on watching TV, but we have five of them anyway. <laughs> Question 36 is what was the worst pain ever? And that would be when I had my youngest daughter. I 
progressed so quickly that I was already at a 10 before they had time to get the person to come in with an epidural. Um, that's a long, frustrating story on my part <laughs> from when I was pregnant. The hospital like basically didn't believe me that I was in labor and by the time they did it was like time to push basically. Um, so I ended up like in an emergency C-section but yeah when I was at a 10 with no epidural that was definitely the worst pain that I've ever felt. I got an epidural with both of my boys. I wanted to get one with my daughter too but it didn't happen so that's bless you. That's a story for another day, but that is definitely the worst pain I've ever felt. Question 37 is, do you like to dance? I am always dancing. Always. <laughs> if there's music on, I am dancing. Question number 38 is, do you like camping? If I'm sleeping on like a blow-up air mattress, I can tolerate camping. It's not my favorite thing to do in the world, but I would definitely do it like if my husband and kids wanted to do it, I would definitely play along. We actually did go camping like just in our backyard um, and we want to go camping like for real. That's why I bought the tents. And then, but what I really love and super, super excited for that I also got for my husband for Father's Day was a two night stay at a local place that does glamping. So it's like an air conditioned teepee that we're going to be staying in. It has a queen bed and fresh linens, you know, just like in the hotel. Um, it does not have like running water. So there's like a community, um, like hot shower and they're taking extra precautions to make sure everything is super, super clean for, um, the COVID-19. So I'm not concerned about that. We'll have like our own little section of the campsite that we'll be staying in. But yeah, I am really excited about the glamping. I, that's the way that I like to camp. <laughs> That'll be fun. Question number 39 is, are you weird? And yeah, I don't show it probably on camera. You guys might see like maybe like a tenth of <laughs> the weirdness that I am. I really don't show it whenever I'm on camera. Maybe someday I'll get comfortable enough to like be like really goofy and silly, but whenever I am around people that I really, really know and I'm comfortable with, I'm a total weirdo. I act like a goofball around my husband all the time and get on his nerves, but it's fun. <laughs> and question number 40 is to tag six friends. So I'm going to tag six of you. I hope that you haven't done this already and I just missed it, but these are all people that I am subscribed to and that I enjoy watching their channels. Um, so I've got Julia Almendares, Limitless Mother B, Jenna from Mega Mom, Rachel from Seven and All, Mercy Davis, and Ashley from the Swanson crew. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys want to do the tag and I didn't tag you, feel free to do it. I'll leave all the questions down below for you. So be sure to let me know if you do the video, whether I tagged you or not, and I will link your uh, video down in the description box down below so other people can find you. So thank you guys for joining me today. Don't forget to get, give the video a thumbs up before you leave. It helps small channels like mine to keep on growing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.